Well, hello there and welcome to the Bullet Journal series. We're coming up to a new month and summertime, so it's time to set up the next spread. In honour of summer and my favourite season, the theme for June is beach. I'd love to know down below what your favourite season is. I'm picking out all of the supplies we're going to be using for today's session and for this one I'm really looking for yellows, oranges, greens, anything that makes you think of the beach, sunbathing, ice cream, sand. For a future setup we'll be focusing more on the ocean so for this theme I'm staying away from blues and just sticking to land and dreaming of summer holidays. And I'm not gonna lie it wasn't easy to pick out things for this theme. Not like last month for witchcraft, where I already had so many stickers and washi tapes with actual witchy items on them. Hats, brooms, tarot cards, that kind of thing. Beach isn't like that. We need to use our imagination a little bit and try to actually create and draw things for this prompt, which is different from usual and it's kind of refreshing. I have the same water base markers as last time and I've also got some zebra mild liners. This time we're going to be drawing lots of the decoration. These markers are from Timu and if you want to hear my thoughts on them then you might be interested in the May setup, which I'll leave down below. And if you want to get some yourself, I have a Timu code down below so you can save a little bit of money. Unfortunately, my glue stick was pretty empty so I reached for an old PVA glue tube I found that was also pretty empty. So it's not the most satisfying thing watching me attempt to get any glue out and I apologise for that. After creating this setup, I found two brand new glue sticks in my art box which was ever so helpful at this point. But there we are. I'm using the same colourful paper as the April theme. This yellow paper literally just came from a £1 A3 book of coloured paper. But you know what, I think it really works. I wanted to add a prominent pop of colour to this page, just like I did for the April cover spread. Plus, I don't know if it comes across, but I hope that if the yellow paper was ripped at a certain angle, it would kind of look like sand. I don't know, does that come across? As far as the rest of my paper collection goes, there weren't many beach themed pieces. I found a few locations and broad textures that were about the right colours as what I was after, but it was a bit of a stretch. That and the washi tape. I have no beach or location themed washi tape and I do know that I've seen summer themed washi tape online that would have fit this theme so well but that was quite expensive so I didn't get it. I found that seasonal washi tapes are always more expensive and that's also why I don't have winter washi tape. Probably to do with supply and demand but they're always unnecessarily expensive when they're not even that pretty. I also tried to use tissue paper for this spread. Well, that went about as well as you could imagine. I haven't used tissue paper in about 10 years. And even then, as a child, I didn't know how to correctly use tissue paper, so obviously I still don't. I'd hoped that if I gently laid down the tissue paper, it would stay nice and flat. But obviously that didn't work, it's tissue paper, it's the most delicate thing in existence, they're so thin, they're so light. And I remembered that shortly after the tissue paper immediately scrunched up. And I also remembered that I don't think you're supposed to just gently lay down tissue paper, I think it's supposed to be scrunched up a little bit to add texture. So the tissue paper was a little bit of a fail, but I do quite like the texture. I've spoken about this before on my channel, but green and orange are two colours that I desperately avoid. And they're a really big part of this theme, so I did push myself. The entire colour palette for this setup is so different to all the ones we've done so far. It's yellow, green and orange. And we did use yellow a little bit for the last theme, Witchcraft. So it was a little bit of an introduction to this one. I probably should have not used yellow in hindsight, but I had decided to at that point. When it comes to drawing, I'm a simple gal. I like to draw simple things. 
buckets and spades, starfish, sand castles, although actually one of them wasn't very easy. Since the theme is yellow and revolves around sand, I thought it made sense to focus on the items that would normally be found in sand. Plus, parasols often have bright colours and I feel like that might have taken away from the sand. One thing I like to do in these setups is to find stickers that match the theme. I kind of found some landscapes and city posters that had beaches on, but the best possible thing, which was completely unplanned, were the clear stickers I picked up in my most recent haul. It's a set of 100 little sticker sheets, and it's such a different style to what I would normally go for. The stickers are super, super cute. But because there are so many sheets, there were actually a lot of water and summer themed sheets, which were absolutely perfect. Do they complement the page and match the aesthetic? Uh, no. But are they the only beach theme stickers I own? Yeah, so obviously we have to use them. Since most of the pages are covered in paper, it didn't feel wasteful to fill in the gaps with the watermarkers. I didn't completely shade in the areas, just some random squiggly lines, but I think it looks cute. It definitely pops against last month's theme, and I do wonder how the journal is gonna look by the end of the year. Do you think it will be a cool flip through? I really hope so. I think some of the themes don't stand out very much from others, because the colours are so similar, a little bit like the yellow in witchcraft going into the yellow in June here. But we will be doing a flip through once the bullet journal is all done. That will be in January most likely, because it's lasting me the whole year, this bullet journal. I'm not really sure how others managed to fill an entire notebook in just six months. Because there's a lot of pages in this one, I know I picked out a B5 notebook that had the most pages possible. But there's no way I could have filled this in six months. I don't have a busy enough schedule to actually fill that much space. At that point, it would kind of be an art book because there wouldn't be enough words in there. And I don't think the paper quality would be worth spending that much time creating in it. Plus, I mean, it takes me a full entire day to set up each month, so I can't imagine doing double the amount of pages or doing an entire spread for just one week. So I think I'll be sticking to my five or six spreads a month. That is more than enough for me. I really enjoyed using water-based markers for this setup. They were really easy and I had no troubles. I decided to lean into yellow and green more than blue because we're reserving blue for a future theme. Plus, I don't know about you, but where I live, most beaches do also have grass on, so it kind of fits. I don't think the weekly spreads are exactly minimalist or simple, but you know, they didn't take very long at all. As a general rule of thumb, once I finish the cover page and monthly calendar, I'm over halfway through. But in this case, it was probably closer to around 70% of the way through. Maybe I was just feeling it at this point. I did kind of repeat some of the drawings which is good for a cohesive spread, is what I tell myself. It's also kind of nice to draw things again. If you draw it once using a reference and then on the second one, you can just have fun creating a less accurate version, but something that's more fun. The stickers aren't cohesive in the slightest. They are all completely different styles. I really love the little travel posters. I think they're so cute. And the washi tapes are very random, I just picked things that fit the colour theme because I didn't have anything that matched the actual theme. And the washi tapes are really cute, but they don't match the theme in the slightest, they are just colours that fit the colour palette. I really love the yellow checked washi tape, I think that is so pretty. And I'm glad I finally found somewhere to put it. No, you know what, I think the textured papers are also pretty cute, I think they fit the theme well too. And the drawings were super quick, I could have done them better, but I, I did them quickly, I'm not gonna lie. Just a few more steps and then that will be June all complete. It's not as chaotic as May, just about, but it's still very maximalist. 
In the next bullet journal setup, we're going to be trying something a little different. I want to give watercolour another try. Someone commented last time to try using more pigment and less water in the hopes that the paper won't warp as much. And I think that's something we should test out. We're still collaging and doodling, so you're not going to miss out on any of that. Spoiler alert, I'm actually ahead. I've already made it. And I know you're not going to want to miss that one. It's the best one yet, so make sure you're subscribed. Thank you for joining me here today. I'm here every Thursday and Sunday. Hopefully I'll see you then. Bye-bye.